I'm in the stream. Ah, sorry about that. Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton, Islands in the stream. That's what's playing right now. Good morning, Double R Radio, Wednesday morning. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. Um, 8.04 in the morning. We're not live yet, so we can talk a little bit. You know, I got my cappuccino working right here, man. Oh, man, my coffee's kicking butt this morning. It really is. There you go. Ah, good cafecito. I'm serious, man. There's nothing like waking up with good coffee and good sex. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, it's got to be only the coffee. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Anyways, good morning, Chana. Good up to Lori Alguin. Hopefully I said that right. Good morning, Lori. Art Mudo. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we doing, Lori? Good morning, Art. There we go. Angel and Gibby. Hondo, Texas in the casa. Hey, Gibby, listen, dude. Um, um, maybe your ears were ringing yesterday. We were talking about you, dude. Me and Ben and uh, Jaime and Billy, we got together for some beers and we were talking about you. <laughs> right. Antonia Villarreal, buenos dias, buenos dias. James Gonzalez, good morning. Happy Halloween to everybody out there getting ready to go live. Uh, Art Morrow says, happy Halloween, boo. Stop it, dude. You're scaring me. Stop it. <laughs> what it was, right? Stop it, Art. <laughs> Antonia Villarreal, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's go live. There we go, islands in the stream, Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton. You know, I remember back in the day, Dolly Parton was known to have these really, really, like, monster big, uh, you know, boobies. You know, Dolly had some really, really big boobies. I mean, those babies were reaching for the stars. And now it, uh, they're reaching for the for the ground, if you know what I'm talking about. Good morning, Double R Radio, 8.06 in the morning, Wednesday morning, happy Halloween, live on Facebook right now. Be sure and join me and say, hello, Robert Rivas, and happy Halloween, Robert Rivas, and you can do that, and it's all good. I won't charge you a dime for that. It's all good. It really, really is. Anyways, um, it is Halloween, and uh, well, you know, um, no lie, man, you know, yesterday... Um, I think I celebrated yesterday like if it was New Year's Eve because me and the boys, Mr. Ben Miranda, Jaime Solis, and Billy Garcia, we got together at Bar Fly right up here on Broadway and 410. And uh, I got to tell you, man, we tied one on, man. It was get us another round, get us another round, and then and then get us another round, and then get us some shots, and get us another round. <laughs> we're like, we're partying, man. We're, Really, man, and the, the music on the jukebox with Skick and Booty, it was simply awesome. It really, really was. Good morning, John. I got to Ermi or the Dallas. There we go. Margaret Charles. Good morning. Good morning. Cindy Martinez Hernandez. Uh, New Orleans. I was going to say New Orleans, Texas. New Orleans, Louisiana. And the Casa. Good morning, Cindy. Mary Louise Azrispe. Gregorio Drendon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jerry Wadia. Buenos dias. Margaret Charles. Good morning. Mary Louise Azrispe. Art Mudo. Antonia Villarreal says, Good morning, Robert. There we go. James Gonzalez. Uh, Angel and Gimme. Hondo, Texas in the casa. Lori Alguin, I mean, good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, uh, let me move this up here. Don't want to miss anybody. There we go. Um, Cindy Martinez Hernandez says, Happy Halloween from Nikki, D, and Pat, and me. Well, let me just say this. Um, definitely want to give a big shout out to, um, I'm going to say it again because I do not want to miss any names here. Nikki, uh, who cannot, you know, Nikki cannot understand. Here's the deal with you, Nikki. You're pissing me off. Look here, Nikki. Look here. Right before the Boston Red Sox, those sorry mothers, you know, beat my beloved uh, Houston Astros. The Houston Astros, Nikki, were your champion, Nikki. They were your champion. So, you're going to have to make it up for me for being wrong. So, what I want you to do today, I want you to go find yourself a Houston Astros jersey. Put that baby on and yell, Houston Astros all day long, Nikki. Houston Astros, just to make it up to me. Just to make it up to me, and I'll think about this. That uh, you know, accepting your apology. There you go, Nikki. Because the Houston Astros, Nikki, they were your champions. Not anymore, but they were. There we go. So, anyways, big shout out going out to Nikki, Pat D, and Cindy Martinez Hernandez, who are joining me from New Orleans, Louisiana. This is what I can't figure. This is all true. I can't figure this. Why would four ladies who live in San Antonio have to drive all the way to New Orleans? For their trick or treats, something's got to be wrong with these men from San Antonio when four ladies got to drive all the way to New Orleans for their trick or treats. Hey, man! <laughs> Come on, guys in San Antonio, 
Four ladies have to drive all the way to New Orleans to get their trick or treats. You guys are doing something right. If you need some some hints, some help, let me know, guys. I'll charge you ten dollars for some advice, and you know, I'm trying to keep these ladies from driving somewhere else to go get their trick or treats. There you go, Maria Lopez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody. Mary Lou Garza says, uh, "Happy Halloween." Good morning, Robert. All the way from Lubbock, Texas, in the house. Lubbock, Texas. There we go. Anyways, let's see what's going on out here in our crazy, crazy world. Got some stuff here. There we go. Check this out. Crazy story. A man wearing loose pants um, is being sought after when he went into a he went into a bank and robbed a bank wearing loose pants. They say that the bank robber walked in there, robbed the bank, and ran out with his pants falling down because he forgot to put on a belt. Well, um, he was running around with loose pants, and the cops were chasing him, and the cops never caught him. But So now, cops are looking for a man wearing loose pants. Well, um, the man with loose pants uh, claims this, um, he claims that um, somebody gave him some advice saying, Hey, carnal, carnal, if, the, if, you for, you know, if you forgot to put on your belt, carnal, and your pants are falling down, I can help you with that. He goes, how's that, dude? How's that? Hurry up, the cops are coming. How, how, can, how can I keep my pants up? And the guy tells him, carnal. Just take a Viagra, and I promise you those pants are going to stay up. They're not going to go down, carnal. Take a Viagra. You don't need a belt. Something else will hold them up. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take a Viagra. And there you go. So for right now, the cops from Philadelphia are looking for a man with loose pants who has just taken a Viagra. There you have it. Now, let's see what else is going on. Check this out. Crazy story. Four women are being charged with <laughs> with not taking care of the kids when police officers saw two toddlers running across the street one toddler was holding a bottle of beer <laughs> these toddlers man they know how to party one was holding a bottle of beer and crossing the road <laughs> anyways the bottle of beer said Gerber beer and there you go Gerber beer now Gerber's come out with beer for the toddlers and uh, Gerber wine coolers and Gerber margaritas. Man, these toddlers, man. <laughs> these toddlers. Uh, they want to party like the rest of us, these toddlers. So there you go. Anyway. <laughs> so if you see a toddler, you know, walking around with a Gerber margarita, Gerber uh, a Michelob Ultra, or a Gerber shot or whatever, man, be sure to report them to authorities so they can take care of business. Now, uh, check this out. I'm going to give you all some... Uh-oh. What, what am I getting? Robert, Robert, you're wrong. Wait a minute here. What do you mean I'm wrong? I'm, hang on a minute. Robert, it's not four ladies that went to New Orleans. It's six ladies. How is that? How in the hell? No, 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 no. I said it right. I said Nikki, that's one. Pat, that's two. D, that's three. Cindy Martinez Hernandez, that's four. Four ladies. What do you mean I got this wrong? No, Robert. You said Cindy, and then you said Martinez, and then Hernandez. That's six. No, that's one. That's one of her. That's, no. No, Robert. It's six. Nikki, Pat, D, Cindy, and then Martinez, and then Hernandez. That's six, Robert. Well, uh, you could be right, because she may have split personalities. I haven't met a woman yet who doesn't have a split personality. <laughs> so, we'll get it. Good morning, John. I'm going to Sarah Duarte. Good morning, Becky Lopez. Good morning, uh, Danny Fernandez. Good morning, Christina Romo. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Maria Lopez. Happy Halloween. Now, I'm going to give you all some things that... Uh, superstitions for Halloween seven common superstitions that people firmly believe in that if you do something like this you will have bad luck breaking a mirror is considered a superstition you break a mirror you're gonna have bad luck another one black cats crossing your path that's another superstition considered bad luck the number 13 is considered bad luck that's true right the number 13 okay also another they consider walking under a ladder is considered bad luck. Also, spilling salt is considered bad luck. Knocking on wood is considered bad luck. Also, God bless a sneeze, because if you don't, you're going to have bad luck. And last but not least, if a guy can't get it up, it's going to be bad luck because this one's probably going to leave him. <laughs> hey, man, come on. I can imagine a guy, come on, come on. Please, please, just give me 30 seconds, man. Come on, get up, wake up, wake up. Because if not, the old lady's going to leave me. <laughs> right? You're going to hear the woman in the background, that's right, Cabrón, I'll leave you. 
You better get it up. <laughs> so there you go, man. Us guys, man. It's tough for us guys. It really, really is, man. We're doing our best, though. Anyways, 8.14 in the morning. It's great to be back. It really, really is. It feels kind of weird doing the morning show. I haven't done the morning show since Friday morning. Like I said, I did do the Cruise and Classic show, but this is kind of weird doing the morning show. But simply love it, man. I miss it. I really, really do. Anyways, uh, do not forget to join me Friday morning, Freeform Friday. It will be now. That also being said, Friday morning, I have a very, very big major announcement uh, that's going to affect my listeners, my radio station, me, etc., which is going to be happening Friday morning at 9.30. So, look, be sure and mark that down on Freeform Friday. I have a major announcement that I'll be making Friday morning on my morning show. Do not forget, coming up here in a little bit, we're going to have flashback interviews. One with Frankenstein. Another interview with Chucky. Chucky, right? Chucky, you know, child's play. And also, Dr. Pepino, my sidekick, is going to give you his top three Halloween movies of all time. What's going to go in? Let's uh, get you in the Halloween spirit. Good morning. Thanks for uh, waking up with me on this Halloween special Halloween morning show. Winnow Diaz. There we go. Let's get uh, Danny Fernandez. There we go. Don't want to miss anybody. Sam, Sarah Duarte. Good morning. Good morning. Rosie Martinez. Cynthia Gonzalez. I mean, let's, let's get back to the morning show. Join me. Robert Rivas Radio.com. Is that simple? Robert Rivas Radio.com. Rosie Lopez. Good morning. Robert Rivas Radio.com. Click on the blue button. Join me now. Uh, big interviews coming up with Frankenstein. Also, Chucky. And uh, we're going to talk about a whole lot of other stuff. Good morning. <laughs>